Welcome back to another cooking video. I'm Chef DeVoe and today I'm here to tell you you've all been lied to. This stuff, the dry green powder which you add water to and then becomes this blob of spicy stuff which you add to your sushi, or this tube of paste that says wasabi on it, don't actually contain any wasabi. Over 90% of all the stuff you can buy in supermarkets and grocery stores that say wasabi on it don't actually contain wasabi in it. And over 95% of sushi restaurants which serve you wasabi don't actually serve you wasabi. Why have they deceived you? Well, it's very simple. It's cheaper to mass produce this stuff, which is just horseradish, mustard seed, and a bunch of colorants, or otherwise known as E numbers, that make it green, than it is to actually make the real stuff, which is this here, wasabi root. It takes about two to three years to grow a root like this and it needs very, very specific growing conditions. It needs to be in a riverbed, basically, and with an overhead canopy of trees, which you can make, but essentially it's very difficult and a long time period to grow, so it costs a lot of money. Not many people do it, so it's very rare to get large quantities of this stuff. And thus it's expensive, and this is cheap. So, when you're talking about profit margins, they'll give you the cheap stuff, instead of giving you the expensive stuff. Okay, so what's the difference between this, the fake wasabi, and the real wasabi? Well, the fake one, I don't need to tell you, when you take a bit too much, suddenly you feel like your nose is on fire, and your mouth is burning up, and you get cold sweats from the heat. That's not meant to happen. Real wasabi is a much more delicate. Uh, it's made to go with fish. It feels like it's natural to compare the two together. And it's got slight aromas, uh, it's undescribable, bit earthy wasabi I can't say exactly how it is you've got to try it but it's great and I highly recommend it so how do you make wasabi out of the root well you use one of these uh, shark skin grater now you can use ceramic graters or metal graters but if you're going out and getting this and going through all your effort of finding this and buying it and getting it shipped to you you might as well also ship one of these and then at least do the traditional way. All right, so this is how you grate your wasabi. First, you want to just clean off the edges so that there's no excess dirt on the sides and on this side. And then once you've done that, you just simply take your paddle board of shark skin and just grind it softly in small circles. You want to take your time with this. You want to create a very silky smooth paste. You don't want to rush it. So just continue to grind it. After a while you just want to scoop some of this up. Just keep it all in one place. Once you have grated it, you want to leave it for about four to six minutes just to sort of mature. You want the aromas, the volatile inside the wasabi to break up and just do their thing. And don't leave them for too long because over 15 to 20 minutes, wasabi starts to deteriorate and it's no longer got that pungent aroma which you're looking for. Okay, so where to get the real wasabi? Now, this wasabi specifically was given to me by Kazari.co.uk and they're an awesome supplier for sushi grade fish and wasabi throughout the entire Europe. They can send it anywhere in Europe. Now, if you are outside of Europe or you want to know what the latest, cheapest supplier is, then go check out the link on the top left corner of the screen and there you'll be able to get the cheapest supplier for wasabi in Europe and in US and also where to get a shark skin grater. Just check out the link above. Now, how to store this stuff? Now, you just keep it inside a muslin cloth like this, which it comes with, and you wrap it around and you keep it down inside a bowl of water in the fridge. And you can keep it for about a month, and you have to clean out the water every three to four days. Now, if you come to the water at the end of the month and you realize you haven't eaten all the wasabi, that's fine, don't worry. Just grate it all down, put it in little pouches, and keep it in the freezer. And then whenever you want any sushi and you have wasabi, then you just take out one pouch and defrost that and you're good to go. Now, it's not as good obviously as fresh, but it's better to you know store it than to just let it go off, because that would be a waste. 
All right, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the top left corner right now, and you can see all my own new videos as they come out. Now, if you want to see more of my videos this second, because you can't wait long enough till next week, then check out all my other videos by clicking on the right right now. One last thing, check out my website, makesushi.org, click on the bottom, and you can go there and check out all the stuff I do. Thanks for watching, till next week, goodbye.